Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be telling you why you should play Noobs in Combat. Now, uh, Noobs in Combat is a great strategy game. It works on unit levels, I don't know. Anyway, there are a lot of games like it, particularly on the App Store. And a lot of the ones on the App Store are really bad. This is a great way to play one of those games, but actually be good without having to spend any money. Now, Noobs on Combat, it's on Roblox, it's a great game. Uh, the game, you as you play through it, you unlock new scenarios, uh, new battles, you'll be able to upgrade your units, and in it there are three types of currencies. Uh, star thingies, nuggets, and gems. Gems can be used to get the other two types of stuff, and of course you can always pay Robux to get gems, but gems are mainly, in my experience, used for getting different skins, because there are different skins for whatever nation you want to play. Uh, nuggets are used for evolving higher or getting higher level units. As you go through your research tree, you'll uh, be able to unlock high level units. Now, I do want to say the research tree, it doesn't work like something like War Thunder. It instead works like, I don't know, but it works on an XP system. So if you use the unit, you can then upgrade it higher based on the XP. Now, when you get in game, you've got heaps of different units you can do and unlock. Uh, as you go through, and they can be used in different ways. There are plenty of play styles that you can do. You can do an all infantry build, which I can confirm is hilarious and funny if you can pull it off right. You can play an armored build. You can play an artillery build. You can play so many different builds in the game. Personally, the build I like to go for is a armored build with some hints of artillery. Uh, particularly recon tanks, modern tanks, supply carriers, and uh, mobile howitzers. And of course, there's also fleet. Uh, there is currently one air unit in the game. I don't know if they plan on adding more air units, but who knows? Maybe eventually we'll also be able to get air in the game, like lots of air. As I said before, the game is a turn-based strategy game, which means that it's your turn and then the bot's turn. Well, it won't always be like that. You see, when you load into a scenario, you can choose whether you want friendly bots helping you out, players, or you could just go in solo, which isn't recommended. At least get bots in if you don't want random randoms joining you or your friends joining you. Sometimes the scenario will also give you AI units, just in general. And most scenarios you'll be fighting AI. Now, there is a PvP mode, so that's where you can take it turns with other players. Now, let's talk about what actually happens when you get in the game. So, let's say you've chosen the scenario, you and all the other people are going in, and now it's time to begin. First is the deployment phase, where you deploy all the, your units, which you've selected based on your starting ticks. Yeah, you know... Roblox chicks, well they made it into the currency that you use when you're actually playing the match. These, uh, you can upgrade your starting ticks where you would change your skin or change your loadout. And these starting ticks will allow you to deploy all the units you want. Uh, you'll have a certain amount of squares you can deploy them into. And once you've filled all the squares, or once you've used up all the ticks, or put down as much as you want, you can go over to the side and click ready to deploy, or whatever it is. Then once everyone in the match has done that, you can then begin, you can move your units, or you can attack using units. Basically there are two different things you can do. You can do an action, or you can move. 
Now, some units allow you to do more than one action, but most units will allow you just to do one action. You also, in most matches, be given a headquarters, which will automatically generate your ticks and will allow you to spawn units. It can also resupply units you already have. There are also things like supply depots, which can just resupply your stuff. There's also outposts, I think they're called, which can do everything a headquarters can do, except not generate ticks. Also, when you kill units, you get ticks. If you kill a certain amount of units as well, your unit that's killed that certain amount will rank up. It will have a vetch. It will gain veterinity, veterany, whatever the name is. It will become more powerful. Now, once you get three stars of them, that's the max amount of veteran. Uh, vet, veteranness, I'm gonna say, you can get. And when you have max of three, that, in my opinion, from what I've seen, is equivalent to two of those units. But in one unit. It's pretty massive getting three star veterans. Now all of this is sounding like jibber jabber because you haven't actually loaded in the game. So loaded in the game, there is tutorials. It's called boot camp scenario. Go through them. It will teach you all about the game. This isn't a game like... Uh, trying to think of a game but this isn't like some games where they just throw you in uh, a lot of roblox games have this issue where they just throw you in without telling you anything and then there's also games like scp roleplay where they sh they show you like these videos and text about what you do and don't do but it doesn't actually it doesn't give you that on hands learning until you actually get into the game. This doesn't just throw you into the deep end. It tells you most of the mechanics uh, pretty much immediately. And as you go through the scenarios and get more units, you will learn more. One thing with this game is it's not bad if you lose, okay? Well, it is bad, you, but you still get XP for your units and you'll have learned something. A lot of the scenarios are pretty much the same every time you go in. And so there are scenarios where you can pretty much accurately identify what you need to do. And you'll eventually learn it and be able to complete it. Now, uh, going back into in-game, there's also morale. It has a, a level of effect on the game. Not as much as actual damage, armor, health, ticks do. But it is a component. When you kill units near other of the friendly units. So let's say you've got a group of bots. You kill one of the bots. The bots around it will get demoralized if they're on the same team. Meanwhile, your thing that just shot it. Well, it might gain veterany. But it also will gain a morale boost. Now every turn that thing is on the field and hasn't been shot at, it will gain morale. Every time it gets shot at, it loses morale. Morale is a major thing, especially for vehicles, because when a vehicle uses all its morale, it doesn't just not stop being yours the enemy can all actually capture it because capturing is a mechanic in this game uh with infantry when it loses morale it will just die it will surrender also when infantry loses morale it can also retreat from the tile it's in i think that's about all I need to explain. It's a, a complex game, but also not that complex. You'll you'll be able to pick on a, you'll be able to pick it up relatively easily. Now, uh, a quick channel update. You may have seen I was uploading a lot, and then last two days haven't. Uh, that's because my mic was broken for a bit, and 
OBS wasn't recording uh, Roblox for some reason. I figured out a workaround for it. I don't need to use Game Capture. I need to use Window Capture for some reason. It doesn't detect it as a game. But that may mean lower quality, like uh, resolution on Roblox. I'm not sure. I've been looking at the footage that you're playing right now and I couldn't see a significant drop like at all. It's also because I recently started recording OBS in uh, bigger file sizes so it actually doesn't look all crusty when there's movement. If you look at a lot of my videos you'll see a problem with that and because I'm doing that there shouldn't be a decrease at all. In fact, it should probably go up in quality, but that's just something to let you guys know if it ever becomes an issue. Also, I've got some really uh, important and stressful real life stuff going on right now. So if I'm away from YouTube a bit, that's the reason. Uh, I should be able to go back to a lot of YouTube uh, next week but this week if this is the only video that goes up like in no shorts or anything that's why so uh, I hope you guys liked this video if you did like it hit the like button subscribe and uh, comment what Roblox game you want me to do. I haven't done this uh, series in a while and this is a cool series for me to do because I get to tell you guys about uh, really good and really cool Roblox games that I've discovered. Also, if you've watched this far into the video and still haven't subscribed, really do consider it. I know I said subscribe before, but you know, like and subscribe is just a really easy thing to say. But uh, seriously, if you're this far in, hit that sub button because so many of my viewers are not actually subscribed. And so if you've actually made it this far, it's clear that you enjoy this kind of content. So please do hit that sub button, there will be more videos like this, and who knows, I might actually do a, a full like a gameplay video on this game, because this game is a really cool game. Anyway, join the Discord so you can see votes and stuff, I don't know. The Discord's kind of dead at the moment because, you know, not many people have joined, but yeah. See ya.